going to lead you through a sequence of sun salutations that will wake you up and allow you to find into your flow. Come to the crossbar, stand hip distance apart and bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes and take one deep focusing breath here. Blink your eyes open and as you inhale, draw big circles from your arms, discovering the space above and behind you. As you exhale, fold forward, hands on the trainer. Inhale, come halfway up and then step back, right foot, left foot, exhale, bend both elbows. With your inhale, come into an upward facing dog and with your exhale, find your downward facing dog. Stay here. Breathe deeply and then begin to bend your knees, alternating sides, sensing the back of your legs from your heels up to your sitting bones. One last breath with this motion and then as you exhale, find stillness. Inhale, straighten your arms and your back. And with the next exhale, bend your knees and step forward, right foot, left foot. With your inhale, come halfway up. And as you exhale, fold over. Release your hands from the trainer. Inhale, draw big circles. And as you exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, drawing circles up and back into a gentle back bend here. Exhale, fold over. With your inhale, come halfway up and then step back. Left foot, right foot this time. Exhale, bend your elbows. And with your inhale, come into an upward facing dog. As you exhale, Downward facing dog and then stay here again. Make sure you got a good grip on the trainer with your hands that it feels stable and solid and then begin to bend your knees again, alternating sides. This time as you bend your right knee, bring it over to the left side and then bring the left bent knee over to the right side so that you got a sweet little twist going on here. Breathe deeply and make sure that the movements feel good in your body and that they feel energizing at the same time. You can move your head and then with the next exhale, let the movement come to an ending. Downward facing dog. As you inhale, you straighten your arms and your back. As you exhale, you bend both knees, step forward, left foot, right foot. With the inhale, come halfway up. And as you exhale, fold over fully. Release your hands, come all the way up. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Once again, inhale, up from here, we're gonna flow through two rounds of sun salutations. Hands on the trainer as you exhale, inhale, halfway up. This time step or hop back into plank pose. Exhale, bend your elbows, inhale, into your upward facing and exhale to your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhalation here and as you exhale, you bend both knees, you step or hop front lightly. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way, folding over. Release your hands. Big circles, discovering the space above and behind you in the back bend. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, once again, gentle back bend. It feels good in your body, that feels energizing. Let's fold forward, inhale, come halfway up, step or hop into plank pose, bend both elbows, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing and exhale. Come into your downward facing dog. 
Inhale here, finding length, not only in your arms, but along the whole spine. And as you exhale, you bend both knees, you step or you hop front, super light. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold over. Bring your hands to the sides, rise up, and then hands together in front of your heart. As you inhale, you draw the last big circle. You bring the hands on the trainer, and then you actually grab the trainer, you step back, and then you bring your knees into the mat, and you take the trainer with you. Place it onto the, like in the middle of your mat, and then from here, we're gonna fly a little bit. Gonna strengthen the back of the body to give it a good wake up call. So bring your hands onto the cushion, and then place your pelvis onto it. Here you want to find a good spot that allows you to balance without falling over onto your nose. So take a moment to find a good position and then place your fingers like on really strong hands into the mat. And from here, we're going to play a little bit with this pose. The ones of you that feel comfortable here and it's enough intensity you can just stay and breathe but if you want to play with it you can release your right hand and bring it to the side of your body with your palm facing up strengthening sensing the back of your body deep breath with the next exhale placing the fingers of the right hand into the mat and then release the left hand, the same here, opening up the front side of the body as you strengthen the back of your body. And from here with the next exhale, you bring that hand back and then if you want more and only if it feels good, you release your right arm, you bring it over your head Opening up the front side of the body as you strengthen the back side of your body. Exhale, release and change. Long line, strength, and then opening in the front side of the body. Release from here. Inhale, if you wish. You can release both hands and take a flight in a variation of locus pose on your trainer. Deep inhalation and as you exhale, releasing the tension, slide back right into child's pose. So you take your trainer, put it back to the front of the mat and then bring your lower arms onto the trainer and rest here. Let's take three deep breaths together inhaling into the sides and back of your rib cage your lower belly lower back exhaling gently one last one together if you feel that it's energizing and releasing tension you can inhale through your nose and exhale through a soft and open mouth Release your forehead, bring your hands onto the trainer, step a little further. We're gonna balance the strength in the back of the body with a little rounding. So here you dive into the cushion. Make sure that your collarbones are gently, like are comfortably placed on the cushion, but that in the back of your neck, there's a little bit of fresh air going through the rounding of the cushion. Bring your toes into the mat, then your knees up, and then from here, walk closer. As close as you can to from here, release your feet and come into the gift. Begin to breathe deeply here. Find good balance, find ease in this pose and then allow your body to relax and your back to gently round. And you have two options. Option one, you just stay here and keep breathing. Option two, you can begin to give your shoulders a nice and sweet massage by swaying your pelvis front and back. 
massaging different parts of your shoulder and back muscles. One last breath here. Again, if it feels good and energizing, inhale through your nose, exhale through a soft and open mouth. And then bring your toes back into the mat. Walk back. Bring your knees into the mat and directly slide into parcel pose, into a child's pose. And here in child's pose, take three deep and generous breaths. Energy flows where your attention goes. So you might want to send those breaths into parts of your body that you still want to wake up and get ready for the day. Last exhale through a soft and open mouth if you wish. And then release from here, hands on the trainer. And then you push back into downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here, and with the exhale, bend your knees, step or hop, super light. Front and inhale, come halfway up, exhale, fold over. And then sit into your chair pose, straight arms pushing up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And as you exhale, you fold over. With the inhale, you come halfway up, step, or hop back, bending your knees this time, as if you would want to touch the floor. You push back and down into downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right leg all the way up, strong and graceful, and as you exhale, shoulders over your wrists, and this time you step into the feet up trainer. As you inhale, drop the weight onto your feet, release your arms, and balance in this variation of warrior one. With the next exhale already, bring your hands back onto the trainer, release the foot and without touching the crossbar, like you want to find strength in your body, wake up here. Inhale, push back and up and exhale, bring that foot back into the mat. With your inhale, you roll with your shoulders over your wrists and as you exhale, you bend your knees, you push back and up into downward facing dog again. With your inhale, you bring that left leg up, slowly and controlled. Exhale, shoulders over your wrists, you step into the trainer, drop the weight onto your feet as you inhale, and rise up. Straighten your arms, suck your upper arm bones into your shoulders to find grounding and relaxation with your exhale, hands back on the trainer. Without touching the crossbar, you release the foot, strong and graceful. Inhale, come all the way up with that leg and exhale, place the foot back into the mat. With your inhale, straighten arms and back. As you exhale, bend your knees. Step or hop front lightly. With your inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold over. Let's come back into chair pose with an inhale. Sit down, find strength, balance here. Exhale, fold over. With the inhale, you come halfway up. You step or hop back lightly. Bend your knees and your sitting bones flirting with your heel. You push back up into downward facing dog. With your inhale, this time you release the right leg, you bring it up, you float forward and you place that right foot to the outside of the trainer. Bring your left hand onto the crossbar for an energizing twist. As you inhale, bring your right arm up, your thumb pointing towards the floor and with the next inhalation, open up into a full and comfortable twist. Make sure that you don't have a lot of weight on your left hand. You want to feel light here, deep breathing. And then you focus with your eyes where it feels good in your neck. You don't want to put stress into this area of your body. So you can look down or feel free to look up towards the right hand. With the next exhalation, right hand onto the 
onto the trainer, left hand onto the trainer. With an inhale, lightly, gracefully, three leg downward facing dog, exhale, bring that foot back down. Inhale, roll with your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, bend your knees, sitting bones, flirting with your heels. Push back and up into downward facing dog. We're gonna release the left leg. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, shoulders over your wrists. Left foot to the outside of the trainer. Then you take your right hand, place it solidly onto the crossbar. Pull out your left arm. Turn your thumb down to come into a beautiful twist here. With an inhale, open up on this side. Find a good focus point that allows the back of your neck to lengthen and relax. And then breathe deeper. Find length along your spine to twist more and more. Slowly finding into the full pose. As you exhale, left hand onto the trainer, right hand onto the trainer. Release your foot, make it light. So you drop the weight onto your hands. You release the foot, inhale, push the leg up and back. Exhale, foot back into the mat. With your inhale, bring your shoulders over your wrists and this time your knees are not going to just flirt with the mat, but you're going to just place them down. We're going to invert from here. So bring your hands back on the trainer, collarbones, shoulders comfortably placed on the cushion and then a little bit of space, the back of your neck and the rounding of the cushion. Bring your toes in, release your knees, walk closer. And then walk as close as you can so that it's not such a long way to make it up. We're going to go into gift pose first. Bring your knees towards your chest and your heels towards your butt. Make sure that the back of your neck stays long so you can bring your eyes onto the crossbar here. And then with the next inhalation, straighten your legs. Let them float up. And let's take some deep, simple breaths here. Allow your body to balance as you breathe into the sides and back of your rib cage, giving your whole body this energizing moment. One last deep breath. If you wish, you inhale through your nose, exhale through a soft and open mouth. With the exhale, you come back into gift pose. Take a moment to round your back here. If you want to repeat the massage, swaying movement, you allow your pelvis to move front and back super slowly, enjoying this upside down moment on your feet up trainer. And then let's release from here. Bring our feet back into the mat, walking back. Bring your knees back and tend to find a <laughs> relaxing counter pose. Come into child's pose with your forehead resting on one of your lower arms. Make sure that you got a good distance to the feet up trainer that allows your spine to lengthen again. Connect to your breath. Feel your heartbeat. Become aware of your aliveness. One last deep breath. Imagine drinking the air in like fresh water. Then come out of the pose. Take a deep breath together with me. And I hope 
that this little sequence prepared you for a beautiful day.